Welcome to Hungry Games America, where two tributes, I mean chefs, meet the ultimate gourmet challenge. The chairman welcomes challenger, Madison Curtis. Madison has absolutely no cooking experience whatsoever. In mere moments, our challenger will be pitted against one of our Hungry Games chefs in the heat of Hungry Games Kitchen Stadium. <laughs> Madison Curtis, which Hunger Games chef do you wish to challenge? I choose Hunger Games chef Bobby Flay. That is a good choice. And now, let the battle begin! <laughs> there is one more ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The theme to which our chefs will offer their succulent variations. Our secret ingredient is... Nightlock Berries! <laughs> and now, America, with an open heart and an empty stomach, I say unto you in the words of my uncle, Hala Cuisine! <laughs> and the challenger has just gotten to her table. Be, oh, she's casting the berries aside. That's going to be interesting. And she's opening something. I can't quite read what this is yet. And the ch challenger is having trouble opening her bag. Oh, there she goes. She's going in the game. And she's added some sort of type of berry sludge. I, that's going to be interesting to see what she does with that. Uh, she's entered it. Put all these bowls in. Uh, maybe she's trying to make some type of sauce or jam or something with those. She's casting it aside, and she's picking some type of feet of an exotic bird. Uh, if I remember correctly, that might be the feet of the exotic hopping manguku bird found in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, Madison, is that what it is? It's chicken. Oh. Okay, she's added some chicken legs on top of the berries, and looks like she's- I don't know what she's doing next. And she's casting the berries aside. And now she's taking her Nightlock berries and she's putting them inside the mixture. Now I'm guessing what she's going to be doing next is mixing it all up. No, she's still adding the berries. All right. And what is she going to do now? I do not know. And she's looking at me. And she appears to be walking off now. And it looks like the challenger is done with over a minute left in the game. So let's see what the Hungry Games ch chef is up to. And over here, the chef is frantically cook, whipping up some cream over here. It's going to be interesting to see how the chef is going to be able to plate this, because he, if he doesn't, it's going to lose a lot of points to the judges. And none of you can smell it at home, but there's an aroma coming from the pie that's baking in the oven. And it smells quite good. In fact, I would probably want to eat it if it wasn't for the fact that it would kill me. <laughs> and the chef continues to jut, keeps whipping. And now we are almost out of time here, so keep going. And the chef is just about to start plating. Let's see what he does. Ooh, that looks good. I'm getting hungry right now. I don't know about the rest of you. And he's dolphing on. And he's dolphing on some whipped cream on top of the pie now. Hunger Games, Master Chef, Challenger Chef, what was your inspiration for this meal? You know, I really just liked the way the chicken hands floated in the berries. It kind of looked interesting. So it floats really cool. Thank you, Madison, for this wonderful meal. I really like the dish, but I think I got... A little too much chicken. Food. Master Hunger Games Chef, Bobby Flay. Tell me, what was your idea on this dish? I thought that since the nightlock berries are poisonous, that it would be a very interesting challenge to make it a delicious meal. <laughs> 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 
The judge's scoring is in. The winner is... Madison Curtis!